Division made easy. That's right, we have another easy button today. However, this only works if the numbers are compatible, meaning that it can be made with a basic fact, okay? We're still going to use this basic fact and zero pattern. That's what makes it so easy to do. All right, so 18 divided by 3 is our basic fact, and we know that that is 6 because 6 times 3 is 18, all right? So now here I have 18, again, even though this was 180. There's still 18 in that. This time it's just 18 tens. Well, 18 divided by 3 would be 6, and then I have 1 zero here, so that 1 zero joins my answer. 1,800, there's still 18 at the beginning of that number. 18 divided by 3 is always 6. It's just in a different place this time. And I have two zeros behind, and so they get added to the quotient. 18,000, 18 at the beginning, divided by 3, still 6. Three zeros at the end, three zeros at the end, okay? So now let's use it to do this. 42 divided by 6, that's our basic fact, that's 7. This number is 420, but again, it has 42 in it. It's just 42 tens. Well, 42 divided by 6 is 7, and then I have a 0 to add into my quotient because there was a 0 here in this dividend. Okay, 4,200. Again, I see the 42 divided by 6. There's my 7. How many zeros to add this time? 1, 2. So my quotient is 700. 42,000, 42 divided by 6 is 7, 1, 2, 3 zeros, so 1, 2, 3 in my answer as well. Alright, so there's the pattern. When I just had the basic fact it was 7, when it added 1, 0, my quotient then had 1, 0. When my dividend had 2 zeros, the pattern, 2 zeros in my quotient. And so that's how I know how to solve. All right, well, it's a little bit different if the divisor has zeros too, and here's why. If I said 20, this is 240, so my basic fact 24 divided by 3 is 8, and then if I add both of these zeros, I'm up to 800. This is way too large. I only had 240 to be divided into three groups. There's no way that my quotient could be 800, so this does not work at all. So there has to be something else that happens, and here's what it is. We use our basic fact, 24 divided by 3, which is 8. But we do not add these two zeros because it made a number too large. These zeros are matching place values. This is in the ones place and this is in the ones place. And so I'm going to get rid of both of those, okay, by marking them out. Here's why that happens. When we're dividing by 30, 30 cannot go into the 2 in the hundreds place. So I traded back, and now I would have 24 tens. Well, 30 is still too much to go into the 24. So again, I had to go in zero times and skip back to the ones place. And so having 240 ones, 8 times 3 is 24, add my zero. 8 times 30 is all 240. So because I could not get 30 to go into the hundreds place by itself or into the tens and hundreds together, that's why these zeros get marked out, and that's why my quotient is so small. All right, let's do it again. Mark out zeros in the matching place values. If I take the zero from the ones place here, I have to mark it out in the ones place over here, all right? So then I've got 24 divided by 3, which is 8. I do have one zero from this 2,400 that was not marked out, and it does get added to the quotient. Again, 24,000 divided by 30, I'm going to take away the zeros in the matching place values. Now I've got 24 divided by 3 is 8. One, two zeros this time. That should be added to the quotient. All right, changing up numbers here. 480 divided by 80. Well, taking away the zeros in the matching place values. 48 divided by 8 is 6. Look at this last one. 48,000 divided by 800. Well, yes, I have matching place or matching zeros in the ones place, but I also have another pair. This time I have a zero in the tens place and a zero in the tens place, so I'm going to mark out both zeros. That leaves me with 48 divided by 8, which is 6, and one zero to add. So 48,000 divided by 800 is 60.
In your math journal, I would like for you to solve these problems using the basic fact and zero pattern. Solve each one, please. Show your work by marking out those place, um, zeros in the common place values, excuse me, and showing your basic fact and how you solve. 